Saying no in social situations. Even if you are committed to changing your drinking, social pressure to drink from friends or others can make it hard to cut back or quit. In the early days, it might be easier to avoid drinking situations, but remember this is not forever. In the meantime, you can still meet with friends by suggesting meeting in coffee shops or doing other activities that doesn't involve drinking. If you have supportive friends who know you have a drink problem, you can choose to tell them your plans in advance, or you can decide to say nothing and you can take your car and say, no thanks, I'm driving. Remember you're the boss of how much information you want to share with people around you and what way you want to share it. When you know alcohol will be served, it's important to think about how you will say no. If you expect to be offered a drink, you need to be ready to deliver a convincing no thanks. Your goal must be clear yet firm and friendly and respectful. Avoid long explanations and vague excuses as they tend to prolong the discussion and provide more of an opportunity to give in. Be confident, don't hesitate, as that will give you the chance to think of reasons to say yes. Look directly at the person and make eye contact. Keep your response short, clear and stick to I statements. It's a good idea to plan your response in case the person persists. For example, no, thank you. Or no, no thanks, I don't want to. Or no, I'm cutting back now to get healthier. You can also try the broken record strategy. That is, each time the person asks you to drink, you simply repeat the same short, clear response. You might want to acknowledge some part of the person's point here. You could say something like, I hear you, and then go back to your broken record reply. But no thanks. And if words fail, you can always walk away. How you think about any decision to change can affect your, dis your success. Many people who decide to cut back or quit drinking think, I'm not allowed to drink, as if someone were imposing rules over them. Thoughts like this make it easier to give in. It's important to challenge this kind of thinking by telling yourself that you are in charge and that you know how you want your life to be and that you have decided to make a change. Or you may worry about how others will view you if you make a change. Again, challenge these thoughts by remembering that it's your life and your choice and that your decision should be respected. Many people are surprised at how hard it can be to say no the first few times. You can build your confidence by scripting and practicing your lines. First, imagine the situation and the person who's offering the drink. Then, use the no planner to record what the person will say and how you'll respond whether it's the broken record strategy or your own unique approach. Read it out loud and get comfortable with your phrasing and delivery. Also, consider asking a supportive friend to role play with you. Someone who would offer real pressure to drink and honest feedback about your responses. Whether you practice through made up or real world experiences, you learn as you go. Keep at it and it will get easier. Make sure to use the no tool. You've now completed saying no in social situations.